Have you ever wondered what the best way was to keep up with product recalls, defects and warnings, etc. as far as different things on the market, most of which you actually have in your house? My name is David Salazar and I'm an attorney based in Houston, Texas. I practice law all over the country and file lawsuits all over the country for exactly these reasons. Dangerous products and defects that have caused serious harm or injuries to my clients. So. To answer this question, which I get asked a lot by my clients, it, it's not as easy as it seems. There's several resources you can look at, but the, the reality of the situation is that there are so many recalls and defects going on constantly around the world that it's hard to keep up with. So one of the main areas to look at is the Consumer Product Safety Commission. This is a US government entity which basically monitors all consumer products and safety uh, and safety thing mechanisms that are around. So they base this off of reports. So consumers report to this agency, and when enough of these reports come out, they issue a warning or a statement saying, hey, this product is probably dangerous. After that, if they get enough of them, they probably let the organization or the business know they actually do this and say, hey, you need to do something about this. You need to send out a recall, or you need to make this product, product known that it's defective. So the Consumer Product and Safety Commission is one of many uh, organizations that are out there. Another one that you want to look at is the Better Business Bureau. For some reason, the Better Business Bureau keeps tabs on a lot of products. So a lot of company, first it keeps tabs on the businesses, but within that business they say, hey, this product is doing horrible, don't buy this from them, etc., etc. And you'll see a lot of consumer complaints on the Better Business Bureau because of what the ratings are for that company. It kind of trickles down into the actual product itself, what kind of product it is and how dangerous it is and, and what could be what kind of injuries can be caused from it. The other way that I would suggest keeping track of this, and this is just something if you happen to be interested in purchasing something, the biggest way is through reviews. Consumer reviews tell you a lot. They tell you a lot about a story because these are other actual people who are disinterested, who have had the opportunity to look at this product and review it and give you their side of the story. I cannot tell you how many times I've had a case come to me where a, any, even in particular a child was severely injured and I go onto some review site, I take a, I take a look at all the reviews and in those reviews, 80% of them say the same thing. This product is dangerous for this reason. I had this happen, I had this happen. It's shocking to me how many times you can find reviews that say how dangerous a product is. So ladies and gentlemen, those are typically the three ways that people look to see what kind of products have defects or, or they're dangerous or they have recalls. So you will get issued a recall every now and then by a manufacturer, but that is only if they can identify you as an individual purchaser. So. Usually only that's only if you buy the, the product directly from the manufacturer themselves or you register the product once you buy it. So just keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Salazar. Again, I'm an attorney based in Houston, Texas. I practice all over the country. I love to hear your insight on this types of stuff and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you very much and have a great day.